Okay. Hi. So, this is the starting of me reading the Bible all the way through in a year. Um, I tried to start it a couple weeks ago, and then last week in it, I just didn't feel up to it. So, I'm going to start today. Today is February 21st, and the readings today are Genesis 1, Genesis 2, uh, verses 1 through 17, Matthew chapter 1, verses 1 through 25, and then Psalm chapter 1, 1 through 6. I'm going to do this every day, and I will be posting this, and you don't have to watch it. You can if you want. You can follow along. Whatever you want to do, it's perfectly fine, but I need to do this for this year just to make my life just a little bit easier, and I want to get more into it, so this is why I'm doing it. Um, a disclaimer, I am in no way trying to push my religion onto you, so if you don't want to watch this, go ahead and just bypass it. It's not going to hurt my feelings, you know, um, I don't want it to seem like I'm pushing this on you, because I am no way not doing that, so I um, just need to do this for to be an accountability partner for myself so yeah without further ado here we go so Genesis chapter 1 the beginning in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth now the earth was formless and empty darkness was over the surface of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters and God said let there be light and there was light. God said that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. God said, let there be a vault between the waters to separate the water from water. So God made the vault and separated the water under the vault and from the water above it, and it was so. God called the vault sky, and there was evening and there was morning the second day. God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land and the gathered waters he called seas, and God saw that it was good. I hear kitty. This is just like in December that I heard kitty. Then God said, let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants, and the trees on the land that, hear, that bear fruit with seed in it according to their various kinds, and it was so. The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times, and days and years, and let them be lights in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to govern the day, and the lesser light to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set them in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth, to govern the day and the night, to separate light from darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, let the water teem with living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the vault of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living thing with which the water teems and that moves about in it according to their kinds and every winged bird according to its kind. 
God said that was good. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number, and fill the water and the seas, and let the birds increase on the earth. There was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, the livestock and the creatures that move along the ground, and the wild animals, each according to its kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to their kinds, and the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over the creatures of that move along the ground. So God created mankind of his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. And God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for food. And to all the beasts of the earth and all the birds in the sky and all the creatures that move along the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food, and it was so. God saw that all he had made, and it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning on the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earths were completed in all their vast array. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on the day... On it, he rested from all the work creating that he had done. This is part of chapter 2, Adam and Eve. This is the count... Sorry. This is the account of the heavens and the earth when they were created, when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Now no shrub had yet appeared on the earth, and no plant had yet sprung up. For the Lord God had not sent rain on the earth, and there was no one to work the ground. But streams came from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed, breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east of Eden, and there he put the man he had formed the Lord. God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye, good for food. Um, in the middle of the garden there were the, the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. A river watering the garden flowed from Eden, and from there it was separated into four headwaters. The name of the first was Pishon, I think. I don't know. It winds through the entire land of Havelia, where there is gold, and the gold of that land is good. Aromatic raisin and onyx are also there. The name of the second river is Gihon. It winds through the entire land of Kush. The name of 